Okay. With the, the, uh, so I make a movie? I'm doing B-roll. I'm going to shut this. We'll start it up and see what happens. We'll, we'll try and give it a little heads up here. So this thing's going to mix it all up, huh? Turn to the trash, please. There. We got to make sure that this is broken up. Over there. There's our bags over there. Start. So you put the binder in there already? Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. So the binder and the hemp is in there. All we've got left is the water. So you're going to mix it up first, dry, huh? So we're going to mix it up dry. Okay. Would you like to spray it down with a little water? Would that control some of that? or does it... it probably would. Yeah. And uh, I have a hose. I can't get it to stop leaking, though. So we're just dealing with the bucket. Some Maybe water. a tarp or something. <laughs> oh, that's right. A little bit more. So when you mix uh, stuff that's been pre-mixed in, I think it's recommended not putting any more than like 10, maybe maximum of 20% of, of the mix. Fine mist setting on that, there is it? Yeah, no. Yeah, for some reason it's stacking up on that. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to work. snowball and do this and have it hold so actually that's not bad that's pretty good yeah so here's this Good enough to eat, man. 
that smell? Do you smell that earthiness? That's a... How far are we going all the way across the top? Yeah, yeah, we go all the way across. What is that tub? About two cubic feet? Three maybe? Mm, yeah, yeah, I would say that's about what it is. Yeah. So we put a lot of bracing in because, again, we were going to try and move it. Oh, yeah. And we're hoping that we could keep it from racking. Yeah, right. Um, the interesting thing, the guy yeah. was light, but not bad. Not quite, a, not quite a foot. And I think what we what we learned at the last one was, um, there. if anything, we were probably tamping a little light. Um, you don't want to. You don't want to really pound it because you want to leave the air. small air spaces in there. Right. But right. on the other hand, it's got to be fairly snug. I so. That's what he was saying, which was different than we had heard before. Yeah. Before. But, you know, the difference is that one that you saw that crumbled. Right. That was one of the ones. Do you want to lean towards? A little, I'd go a little harder than soft. Because you do, you have 50% more to tamp down than the 8 inches if you're at 12. Now, yeah. you, you've gone down a good 4 or 5 inches here. Yeah, this is where we are, right? Right here. Yep. Alright, and yes. this, yep. this is down two inches. So really we're we're only about seven inches tamped. So what's the ratio of tamping? You want to compress it like 20, 30 percent? Uh, uh good they... question. I've never That's probably a good thing to uh, consider. If yeah. you start at a certain level, you should go down a certain yeah. level. Yeah, that'd be a good good way to measure it. Right. Yeah. yeah, the other the other thing that um, is possible is you can tamp it a little harder around the outside yeah. and not quite so much in the center. Right. But now do you plan on what do you plan on finishing it with inside? Uh, probably, probably a um, the uh, stucco finish. Board. Oh you put magnesium so board? Maybe, I don't know. I'd like to make soft corners. And I don't know if right now's the time to do it or adding it in later. Like right here. I want this to be like this. Okay. Well, actually, mm -hmm. you know, so we can have a rounded one. We kind of jumped the gun, but what what I was thinking of is you see this cutter? Yeah. It's taking that and putting it right in this corner. Yeah, let's do it on the next one. We'll have to we'll have to saw this so, down. So that would give you a little bit of a rounded. Nice. Um, and you know, we could cut it cut it to the right. Well, we'd have to take this piece off, I think, but have that go right in yeah, into nice. the corner. So you get, yeah. you could use this as a rounded form. Yeah, just what you do is just have some forms that are dedicated for corners. Maybe yeah. Just yeah. Pass that right to the yeah. Yeah. plywood somehow. So that was another, another thing to play with. Yeah, that's what I was, I was telling um, that, that's the nice thing about this stuff. Immediately, I think of arches and rounded <laughs> corners yeah. and rounded walls. Stuff you can't do in traditional carpentry. It's that easy. Yeah, that is right. Well, what um, Steve knew is the guy here from uh, Mexico was using, had moved to using uh, coconut husks because they ran out of hemp and it's hard to get. And uh, then they began to take the coconut dust and mix it in the same formula. And began sculpting it. Right. Now, I don't know whether we could do it with hemp dust. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. The, the smaller the particle, the more yeah. easily to form, and you can oh. make it, you can finish it. Oh, un unbelievable yeah. sculpting. This is another one all about cinema. And it went all out. It's not inexpensive to stay there. But so, so, so there's a hemp wall in there? So they made one into a disco. Right. Two-story. And so they have... So you can rent this for, well, how much was that discount one? Like 600 bucks for, yeah, for, a, night. for a, a night? 
But it'd be and like, they supply uh, music and, and the lights. No, and you, do it all you do it all yourself. You do it all yourself. So they have a whole disc jockey thing that you can do. Because this woman this? heard about hen cream. Well, this is 2 by 8 This is the 2 by 8 And then we're going to put dense pack in there. But this, it's... It's worth is going to. Um, this back cellulose. North Conway. Um, North Conway.